Tell me if I'm lying. I know there were a lot of Ravens fans. They got a notification on their phones that said the Ravens have signed. And so many were like, come on, let's get it. Let's go. But then they continued it. And it said the Ravens have signed head coach John Harbaugh to a three-year extension. And they were still like, come on, let's go. But now... This, this doesn't come as a surprise at all. Uh, this just makes it official. Even though it was kind of weird how we had heard about it, that they were going to do it, but we just hadn't heard anything official from the Ravens themselves. But now it is real. It is happening. Well, it's happened already. The Ravens signed John Harbaugh to a three-year contract extension. He's now under contract through 2025. So... Good job for John Harbaugh getting his bread uh, and getting even more stability with the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, John Harbaugh has been the Ravens head coach since way back in 2008. And that is a long time. Now, um, with John Harbaugh, y'all know how I feel about John Harbaugh. Did I feel like he deserved an extension? No, I didn't. Am I tripping that he got an extension? No, I'm not. It is what it is. My thing with John Harbaugh, like I have continued to say, um, what I really wanted to see, especially this, this season coming up, I just really want to see accountability and adjustments. AA, accountability and adjustments. Are you going to hold yourself accountable and hold other guys that you have brought on accountable for their actions? And are you going to be willing to, to adjust are you willing to get with this new nfl and again I, i'm not saying neglect the defense or neglect the run get no but are you willing to really move forward in this passing league with an offense that passes the ball more are you you all going to really invest in this offense how are you going to handle this team moving forward it, and that accountability it comes in so many different ways and so can the adjustments it's about who you bring on. It's about who you let go. It's about different players you'll sign. It's about different players you'll draft. How will you use draft picks? How will you not use draft it's, it's a lot that goes into it, and a lot of it is philosophy as well. And it's not just Harbaugh alone. It's also Eric DaCosta, Steve Bashadi. It's all of them. So we'll see how this season goes. We'll see how the season goes. I'm hoping for the best. I hope John Harbaugh takes it. Knocks it out the park. Shout out to the Orioles. But anyway, um, that wasn't the only thing that was announced. Uh, shout out to Jeff Zrebic because he said that Steve Bashotti had a little meeting with a lot of the, the, the Ravens reporters and stuff. And, um, oh, oh, Baltimore area reporters. Okay. So I was, I was about to say, man, y'all couldn't hit me up. But see, what makes this worse about this meeting? It was in Palm Beach. These dudes like... Barely an hour away, and, and they could have hit me up and be like, hey, come through for the, the owners meetings. We in Florida, South Florida, too. I, man, y'all don't got love for nobody, but it's all good. I ain't going to hold it against the Ravens or none of them. Anyway, um, but uh, Jeff Zrebic said that Bashadi, uh said that, that he said he, that he made it clear that the Ravens are interested in, in extending Lamar Jackson, but respect his desire to wait. And apparently Bashadi said, we'll pay him when he's ready. And Jeff Zrebic also quoted him saying, without a quarterback that you believe in, uh, life stinks as an NFL owner and as a fan base. We appreciate Lamar. All I know is that his teammates love him and the front office loves him. Okay, cool. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, and again, this is another uh, Ravens executive letting everybody know publicly, hey, we're ready. We want to do our thing, but it's all on Lamar. It's on him. We waiting on him. He's the one that's holding this thing up. He's the one that don't want to sign yet. We're ready. So, again, we, we talked about how contract negotiations go. Um, but I'm very, I'm very interested to see how this thing goes. Because you, you could say all the stuff in the world. You could say all the right things. But for me... Seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. And when it comes to Lamar, <laughs> again, Deshaun Watson changed the game. The Browns, what they gave to Deshaun Watson, that changed the 
gain $250 million. All guaranteed. All guaranteed. $250 million guaranteed. And again, that's the floor. The, the Browns, they, they changed everything. They paid a quarterback. Hadn't played football for a whole year. Hadn't played football for a whole year. Still has a possibility of being suspended. They pay that quarter. So they may not even get this guy throughout some parts of this season. It's a possibility. It's obviously not a guarantee. But oh, you know what a guarantee is? That $250 million. They paid Deshaun Watson $250 million. Well, Deshaun Watkins. Shout out to my boy KC. <laughs> I did talk to him. No, he said he ain't, he ain't taking it seriously. So shout out to my guy KC for having a good sense of humor. I appreciate you. Um, but they paid Deshaun Watson all of that money, and he got some some stuff on the side that he may or may not have to still deal with. Lamar got to be like, oh, you know he is. You know he is. Like man, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just I'm I'm very curious as to how this thing goes. Like I don't I don't even think we're gonna have to wait uh two years or three years because I know he's playing on a fifth year option right now. And then I know everybody's been talking about oh the Ravens could franchise tag him next year. Then they could franchise tag him again. I don't think it gets drawn out for those two franchise tag years um, because. Again, with the franchise tag, I know because a lot of people keep saying, oh, yeah, Ravens got all the leverage in the world. Lamar doesn't have any leverage. Ravens could. They got the fifth-year option. They could franchise tag him once, franchise tag him again. All Lamar Jackson do, got to do is say a word. That's it. All he got to do is say the word. If he ain't feeling the franchise tag, if he ain't feeling the Ravens no more, oof. Things could get so ugly so fast. So fast. And with that, um, say, for instance... They, they came up off of Lamar. They were like, all right, Lamar, we're either going to trade you or we're going to let you go. They, they're not going to let him go. But they say, hey, well, Lamar, we're going to trade you. Then, and, and, and he, if, if he was not really feeling the Ravens, man, and he let it be known, oof, that would just send shockwaves through the whole NFL. Now, we obviously don't want it to get to that. So hopefully when Lamar and the Ravens, they start talking again, and Lamar feels he's ready. I still don't think a contract happens this offseason. But when Lamar Jackson feels like he's ready and the Ravens talk to him, they, they can't start at – well, I mean, the floor is the 250 mil. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You can't go under that. You can't. Ain't no hometown, ain't no hometown discounts, man. Ain't no discounts. You, that's your floor. 250 mil guaranteed is the floor. And we're going to look at to see what Kyler Murray gets whenever that time comes. We're going to look at to see what Derek Carr gets whenever that time comes. Even though they're, what was it, their owner, the GM, I forgot who it was that put out that little quote. Now, I didn't hear the whole interview or whatever, so I can't go too much off of that quote. But from that quote, it did not look too pretty. When he said, oh, Derek Carr got to do what's best for him. We got to do what's best for us. And hopefully we'll meet somewhere in the middle. He said something like that. I was like, ooh. Contract negotiations, they can get very ugly very fast. Because it's a lot of things that you just don't mess with when it comes to people. Um, you don't mess with people's family, but you don't mess with people's money. You don't mess with people's money. Because you, you can have the best relationship with somebody. Y'all can be aces. Y'all could be down. Y'all could be boys. Y'all could be girls. Y'all could be whatever. But once you cross that line, all that can change like that. And this is already a business relationship. Of course, they got love for each other personally and whatnot. But this is a business relationship. And business relationships, they will be broken if the money ain't Right. So, hey, but Shadi talking good now. Well, again, we're going to see. We may not see this year. I don't think we'll see this year. But when it comes to that time, yeah, Ravens already got, <laughs> they already got a blueprint uh, for where they need to start when it comes to these contract discussions. So hopefully they take it serious. I'm sure Lamar, you know, he's taking it serious because he looked 250 mil guaranteed. What? 
Oof. Man. That's, that's a whole lot of money. We out.